This is Airbus A320CO and this airplane has a flying range of uh, 5,700 kilometers and for such a route it will burn around uh, 14 tons of the fuel. This is of course huge amount of fuel and this is only single airplane. Imagine that you have 40, 50 of them and this fuel need to be stored somewhere on the airport and here in Vienna it is there. This is fuel depot and from there the fuel is delivered to the airplanes thanks to two options. The first one is a, a huge tanker which is refueled inside of depot and then it comes to the airplane, plug into the aircraft and refuel it from its own tanks. This option is okay for the airplane like Airbus A320 but if we look on the airplane like uh, Boeing 787 which can take for the route from Vienna to New York up to 60 tons, this is not really option. Which leads us to the second option, which is underground fuel system. And uh, under this cover, you can find connection to the line, which leads all the way to a depot. And these refueling ports are almost on every stand here on the airport. And uh, you can't really miss them because they're marked with the green square and they're connected with this green line. So if you follow this line, you'll always find one of these uh, refueling holes. And inside of pipelines here on the airport, uh, you can find around 1.7 million liters. And pressure inside of this pipe system is uh, 10 bars. And Airbus A320 can take max 3.5. So you can imagine how huge this pressure is. But how to get fuel from there all the way there? And it is possible thanks to this device. This is a fuel dispenser. And how it works, this track will connect to the ground and then the pressure which is uh, in the refueling system or underground system is reduced thanks to this track. And then the under correct pressure, it is sent inside of the airplane. And uh, uh, as long as uh, fuel is in the underground system, uh, there is no really limitation for refueling. And thanks to this system, we can refuel even the biggest airplane which are out there, like this 380. 